<laughs> hey guys, it's Jay, and today I'm here with another book haul because Value Village, she did it again. She did that 50% off sale, and we can't say no. So, without further ado, let us get started. The first book I got solely based off of my buzzword, Serial Killer. And it is Butterfly Skin by Sergei Kuznetsov. It says that it's a visceral journey into the mind of a serial killer. So you know your girl instantly bought it. The next book my mom actually picked out, she thought that it sounded right up my alley and she was very correct. It is a Disclaimer. It follows a woman who finds a book on her bedside table and she has no idea how it got there, but she picks it up. She quickly discovers that it is a book all about her and the day that she hid her most terrible secret. And I'm... Um, here for it. Want to know what that secret is? It just sounds like it could be really interesting, so mama picked good. The next book I have is called Frozen, and this is by Robin Wasserman, and it sounds really intriguing. It's a sci-fi novel, and it's about this girl who goes through the download, which basically makes you immortal, and it's not supposed to change you in any way, but she's quickly realizing that it's change of personality. People around her are acting very differently towards her, and it's kind of that whole story. Seems like a grand old time. I really want to find the other two books in the series. I don't know if you can see that, but they like line up to make this robot lying on the ground and I just think that's fun so I want it. The next book I picked up because I actually bought the third book in this series a while ago from the dollar store for three dollars which can I just say makes no sense because a dollar store should be a dollar but it was three dollars but that's a whole nother story here in Canada. It is The Bone Season by Samantha Shannon. This is the first book in this trilogy so now I only need the mime order and then I have the full set. The next book I have is Dream a Little Dream by Kirsten Gear, and I bought this because it looked like fairy tale esque. That's not a word, but it's fine. I just thought it looked super fun, and I don't know what it's about. All I know is that it's a girl going into dreams, so it's a fantasy. That's that's about all I got for you. Becca from Becca Awesome Book Nut talked about this a lot when she was still making videos and she said that it's one of her favorite books and it's like super underrated. So I saw it and I was like here for it. The next book I bought because buzzword again, serial killer. It's Marie Antoinette, serial killer by Katie Allender. Don't know what it's about, but said serial killer. So here we are. This is like the theme of this video. Here we are. It's about this girl named Colette who goes to Paris for a class trip and then murders start happening and she sees somebody who looks very much like Marie Antoinette and therefore Marie Antoinette is the serial killer but she doesn't think that any of her friends are going to believe her so she doesn't tell them. She decides that she's gonna prove this and that's the story. The next two books are part of a series that I own the first book to so when I saw this I was like heck yeah but it is The Evolution of Myra Dyer and The Retribution of Myra Dyer. I have The Unbecoming of Myra Dyer on my shelf somewhere back there but it's under a lot of other books so we're not gonna go pull it out but yeah book two and three of that series so now I can marathon it and finally read it and be on the bandwagon. A lot of people have said that it's bad. A lot of people have said it's good. I want to know what I think so now we're gonna find out. And then the final book that I got because I recognize the author. She wrote like one of my favorite childhood series. It's like TTYL like that series. I don't know if you guys know what I'm talking about but it was a grand old time. It was like texting friends and it's just lots of fun. But it's Bliss by Lauren Miracle and this is about a girl named Bliss who goes off to a boarding school and she thinks that it's going to be the best time of her life but then she quickly realizes that's probably not the case because there's a voice in her head telling her a lot of things about blood and she's the center of the attention of the bloodiness. So creepy. Also the cover looked creepy to me so I was like want it, need it, got it. Alright guys so that was my little book haul for this time around. Let me know down below if you guys have read any of these books and what you thought of them and I'll see you all in my next video. Goodbye!